Hi, this is Jaden with CCTV Security Pros. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Smart PSS Lite application to view your black line or blue line systems from your laptop or desktop. While I will only be showing the process for Windows, the same general concept can be applied to any M series Mac devices as well. Let's get started. First, we'll want to gather a few pieces of information from the system. These are the serial number, username, and password. The serial number can be found both on the recorder physically and in the main menu under Network and P2P. You'll also want to make sure that the status on this page shows online. The text may be faint, but as long as it says online, we're okay. If it does not show this, double check that DHCP is enabled for NIC1 in the network settings and that the cable you are using to connect the NVR to the network is functional. The default username is admin, all lowercase letters, and the password would have been created when first setting up the system. If you don't remember the password, you will need to reset it at the recorder itself. A guide to that process can be found in the description of this video. As long as you have the serial number, username, and password, you can view the cameras from on-site or off-site. To download the application, you will need to go to the support page on our website. After doing so, click on the blue line support portal. Click on software downloads, and then Smart PSS Lite newest version or Smart PSS Lite M series chips if you have a Mac. It will download the file on your computer, which you can open at the top right of certain browsers or in your downloads folder. If the download asks to make certain changes to your device, please allow. You should then see a page like this. Click the checkbox to agree to the software agreement and click Next. Click Install to complete the installation. Once it says Successful, click Finish. You should now find the Smart PSS Lite shortcut on your desktop. Double click on the shortcut to open the program. On this page, click on the circle next to Video Monitoring, then click OK. Once again, agree to the software agreement, and the application will make you create a password. You can make this the same password as your system, or you can choose a different one. Type that in both the password and confirm password box. You can also choose to auto login, so you don't have to type your password for Smart PSS Lite in the future. Click Next when finished. Here it will let you choose security questions for if you ever forget your password to Smart PSS Lite. If you selected the auto login box before, you shouldn't really need these. Feel free to put whatever you'd like in here. There are other ways of getting back into the application if you forget the password. Click Complete when finished. With that setup done, we are finally in the application. If it asks you to join the User Experience Improvement Program, click Not Now. We can now add our DVR or NVR so we can view it. Click on Devices at the bottom left, then click Add at the top. Here we can enter the information about the system. The device name can be whatever you'd like. I will be naming my system, My NVR. Immediately to the right of that, we can change the Add mode to SN for serial number. You can then enter the serial number, username, and password. Once done, click Add, and your device should appear. At first, it may show offline, but this should switch to online after a few seconds. If the status does not show online, either your device is not online, or the serial number, username, and or password are incorrect. Double check that everything was entered correctly. Make sure this status shows online before continuing. We can then click on Home at the top and then Live View. To view your cameras, you can either double click on the name you gave the system on the left, or drag the cameras over to the boxes on the right. You can also choose how many cameras you want to view at the bottom right. Now I'll show you how to view the playback from your system. Go back to Home and click Playback. Here you can select the cameras you want to view with the checkboxes on the left, 
and select the day you wish to view at the bottom left. Click search at the bottom left and it will show you the 24 hour timeline of that day at the bottom. Click on any point in the timeline to view the footage at that time. You can use the buttons at the bottom to pause, rewind, and speed up the video. To back up your footage, click the scissors icon towards the bottom left. The timeline should now show two red lines that you can click and drag to create your start time and end time. You can also scroll with your mouse to zoom in on the timeline. Once you have the area to back up, click the scissors again and you'll see a menu like this. I would recommend changing the export format to MP4, and you can choose where the video should go on your computer. Click OK when ready, and it will start exporting. When the video is done exporting, it should show a prompt at the bottom right and you can find your video to view it. The last thing I want to show you is how to change the appearance of the application to dark mode. This is completely optional, but many people don't like the default bright white background. To change this, click the cog wheel at the top right, then system. The setting is called skin, and you can change it from grayish white to blue. Click Apply and it will prompt you to restart the application. Click OK and the skin should now be changed. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to catch any guides in the future. Thanks for watching.